after a month of waiting and you guys asking for it, I proudly present my latest anime review. Hey guys, the Black Critter Guy, and as I promised all the way in August, I proudly present my review of the anime Psycho Pass. So Psycho Pass takes place in the very distant future following this crime investigation agency who are basically the detectives of the city consisting of inspectors and their hunting dogs known as enforcers and they're basically people who are labeled as laden criminals due to the discoloration of their psychopaths. So basically in this future world people's mental state otherwise known as psychopaths is analyzed by machines to judge the probability of a person committing a crime. And basically in this anime we see the transition of a newcomer by the name of Akane Sunimori, a naive first timer who plunges into the dark world of a detective. Together with the other detective and enforcers, they investigate crimes and serve justice. So I was requested to watch this anime by one of my subscribers, Yuki Ivashkov. I hope I said that name right. And you all voted for this anime a month ago for me to watch. And now I finally get the review to you and I gotta say guys I really and truly enjoyed this anime I mean this anime has a lot to say and it engages its audience I really enjoy animes like that to me this anime was like a great mix between the minority report and dread two movies that I absolutely adore so let's start with the things that I really enjoyed about this anime first off the animation goes without saying again is fantastic Moving on. Probably one of the anime's biggest strength is its story and writing. It is complex, intricate, and very engaging. It engages the audience very well. I mean, this anime really tackles on some moral issues like what is right, what is wrong, and what is the right choice for the betterment of society. One thing that I noticed throughout the entire story, and I don't know if the writer purposely did this or I'm just looking too into it, but I felt like this story was a social commentary about how technology is controlling our day-to-day -day life. I mean, if you look at people today, I mean, how many of them will you see on their cell phones, on their laptop, listening to some MP3 player? I mean, we're called the plug-in generation for a reason. I mean, we're all just plugged into the internet and it basically runs our life. And I felt like the writer of this anime, Gen Urubushi, who's known for writing dark anime such as Fate Zero and Puelai Magi Modoka Magica. I love his work and those animes are awesome if you have not seen them yet. But I felt like he was making a social commentary about how technology is running our lives. I mean, throughout this anime, it's blatantly shown. People are always on the internet. When you're in your house, you can pick how your house looks like through technology. People get judged on their moods, whether they're going to you know, commit a crime or not, buy machines, and detectives hold guns that basically judge people whether or not we can kill them or we paralyze them. It really highlights how the old ways of not only detective work, but of everyday life is dying. The lack of common sense, intuition, that gut feeling that tells you this guy is a murderer, I need to take him out before he kills another soul, or that this guy is an innocent man, you should let him out. A really good example of that is this really tense moment later on in the anime. Now, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I want you to experience it for yourself. But to give you a brief uh, explanation of what it was, this character's life was on the line and one of the detectives had to make a moral choice of either killing the person with a real gun or letting him get away because their, their gun that they're using doesn't work on this individual. And it was just this challenging of morals, whether or not it was right to shoot this person or to let this person commit his crime. But the scene showed not only the moral dilemma that this character was going through, but the detective's over-reliance on technology instead of going with their gut feeling. The second strongest element about this anime is its characters. They're all very well developed, very interesting, and multi-layered. None of the characters are just one note, one-dimensional characters like, oh, we're the good guys or the bad guys. No, they had more layers to them that made them very interesting. The three that really stood out to me was Kogami, Sunimori, and Makishima. Kogami is one of the coolest characters in this anime, not only because he looks like a freaking badass, but because he doesn't really rely on machines so much, rather he relies on his deductive reasoning as a real detective would. Like when solving a case and putting the pieces together, he uses his wits and his intuition to solve a case. That 
my friends, is a true detective. Next, we got Suni Morty, who's basically the character with morals in this anime. She doesn't want to kill or hurt anybody unless it's really necessary to do so. But at the same time, she has a very caring heart and she still believes in the best in humanity. And the last character that I thought was really interesting was Makishima. Now, I can't really say too much about this character because it would be spoilers, but this guy is intriguing as hell. And just his mentality alone makes him one of the most interesting characters and most interesting villains I've ever seen in an anime. And that's really all I can say about him without giving too much away. But that's not to say that they're the only characters I liked in this anime. There are a lot of other characters that I really enjoyed. There was this one enforcer, I forgot his name, but he was one of the coolest characters. I really enjoyed watching him. The bond between Gino and I think his name is Masoka. They had a really interesting bond, and I really loved their relationship. And also, the relationship between Sunimori and Kogami was really interesting as well. It's not a love relationship. Don't get that twisted. It's a relationship of mutual respect. Which is pretty rare in an anime, because when you pair a girl up with a guy, normally by the end of the anime, they end up together. But in this one, it's a mutual respect. They respect each other. And lastly, the action scenes were thrilling. It gave me the same rush as when I saw the action scene in Only God Forgives. That's how good it was. I mean, the action scenes were just fluid. You can see the action happening right in front of you. And I love action scenes like that. I hate action scenes that are just blurry or you just see lines flying all over the place. I just want to see combat in its purest form and that's what I got in Psycho Pass. Now, as much as I've been praising this anime, there are a few problems that I did have. The first one being that some story elements dealing with characters were left unexplored and unresolved. I mean, I really would have loved to know more about the other enforcers, particularly the one guy that I think is really cool, and this one chick enforcer who, honestly, I know they don't say it out loud, but she's a lesbian. In one of the first scenes in the animes, we see her walking out of this office with another lady and this lady's like buttoning up her shirt and they don't really explore that ever again until the end of the anime that she's a lesbian. But they kind of subtly drop the hint that she is, but I really would have loved to know a little bit more about these two. They did give the girl a backstory, but it was really kind of out of place and they didn't explore that more and the character had a story that was unresolved. And lastly, and this is not a con towards the writing and story, but some of the political, literary, philosophical, and scientific jargon was a bit overbearing and it might alienate some of its audience. I mean, personally for me, it was hard to really keep up with all of this jargon because I had to read the little text as they were flowing through. So honestly, I recommend that you watch this when a dub comes out. It might make it much easier for you to grasp the concept of what's going on. But overall, I thoroughly enjoyed Psycho Pass. It had a really great story with some awesome and interesting characters, some fantastic action scene, and amazing animation. And that's why I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. It's definitely worth watching. But anyway, what did you guys think of this anime? Did you like it a lot? Or did you find it boring and overly complex? And let me know what is the darkest scene you've ever seen in a movie or an anime. Comment below, let me know. Also, as I mentioned in my video earlier today, I have extended the deadline for the fan art contest to September 30th, so you have more time to finish up your artwork. And again, I apologize for this late anime review, I've been very busy, but I hope to start doing more anime reviews more frequently. Uh, you can hold me to that, so hopefully I'm going to try to do more. Check out my Facebook fan page if you have not done that already. And if you like my shirt, really awesome shirt, it's from Boomslank.com. If you want to see more artwork from them, maybe even buy a poster or a phone case, go check them out on Boomslank.com. Link will be in the description. But until then, guys, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, welcome to The Black Critic Guy. Like this video if you really enjoyed it. And I'm Tony Wilder II from The Black Critic Guy. Till then... Peace, YouTube.